Okay, so what we have here is a Dynamark by Noma Outdoor Products. It's a big old hoss of a snowblower and the piece of junk Tecumseh 10 horsepower engine that I had, which is this existing beast, is just horrible and it has your typical problems with it where yet of course maybe slightly low oil it didn't read the right oil level it said it was full and it blew you can see it blew the whole crankcase apart luckily I wasn't standing nearby shrapnel landed in my fence nearby so it's shot um, this one has a two and a quarter inch one inch crankshaft on it it's two and a quarter inches long with a keyway straight on the end no taper it has a threaded bolt pattern on it and then on the bottom and around the crankshaft it has thread inserts which you can take these thread inserts the plate that was on it existing I've already moved it from the old motor to the new motor and essentially I got this from small engine warehouse.com guys were really knowledgeable over there and they hooked me up with a new 10 horsepower Tecumseh hopefully this thing's better but I didn't want to spend the time and energy in switching it over to a Briggs even though a Briggs is probably a better engine the crankshaft on this one I believe is two and three quarters so I need to shave it down I'll probably unbolt this and then die grind it off as the threads go through or I can put another spacer on it. Um, originally my uh, snowblower came with a spacer on the crankshaft here so I can probably just get another spacer to lock in my pulleys that go on it. But this is the new engine. A Formula 10 horsepower it looks pretty good. It's got an air filter which the old one did not have and it has the heat box on it as well which is located here which you need for the snowblower. The old one is rusted all to hell and back so there's no point in that but it looks like a pretty good engine we'll see what happens um, essentially on the snowblower what you have is four bolts that hold your engine down you just have to make sure that whatever engine you're going to put in also the bolt pattern lines up I believe this is three and an eighth by six and a half um, three and an eighth wide here six and a half to these two bolts in between uh, your pulleys here assemble and then you have extra pulleys over here that slide onto your crankshaft. You can see the keyway in the pulleys. Essentially what you want to do is drain all the oil out of your old engine, tip your snowblower all the way up, and take off the rear panel. And underneath inside, you'll see the four bolt heads that go through this upper part of the engine here. So essentially that's what you have to do. One or two bolts may fall out, like this one fell out, so I'll have to put it back in. But I'm going to go ahead and bolt this thing on, check the pulleys for the right tension, check my belts at the same time, clean up the pulleys a little bit, and uh, bolt this thing back together and get it running. And I think we should be in good shape. Hopefully I'll get a picture of it uh, running with some snow later on. But for $470 shipped, it was a lot easier for me to uh, replace the engine than it was to spend almost two thousand dollars to get a snowblower of this size a 1033 i think it's got a 33 inch clearing cut width on it so it just seemed to be a lot a lot better to do it that way than it did to actually turn around and get a new snowblower yeah it's a 33 inch cut width on it and this monster is a beast it really blows through some snow you can see that it is uh almost 25 inches tall so you can just plow right through the snow and of course this thing took a dump on me uh, the day before as I prepped it to get ready for the snow right before the blizzard of 2010 in Maryland so needless to say I was uh, quite pissed and I've had a back surgery since then so I think the blizzard did it to me but that's it I'll update you guys further once I get this thing running and actually throwing out a bunch of snow and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, send me messages if you got any comments or maybe you need some help and I can try to help you out. Take it easy, guys.